guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys stopped by today because today we're going to be making one of the new creatures from the Star Wars movie that recently came out. Everyone's been loving the cute little porgs from the movie, so I figured I'd make one for you guys. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on for our porg is going to be the face. This is going to be made out of clay, but it's going to have a foam base. So I have a little foam ball. I'm going to put it on a wooden dowel, that way it's easier to handle, and I'm going to cover it in tin foil. After that, I'm going to apply a layer of clay over the side that I want the face to be on. Now with a porg's face, it's very flat, almost like a pug, so you really don't have to add a lot of clay to get a snout, but you do want to add a little bit so it's not completely flat. Now for your porg, you can do whatever facial expression you want, but I'm going to go with what I'm considering their resting face, which is basically just their little frowny face along with the big bug eyes. Nothing really too outgoing. After I'm done with the snout, I'm going to take two big balls of clay and I'm going to push them into the face where I want the eyes to go. After that, I'm going to put a ring of clay around it to make an eyelid. And I'm really not going to add any more detail to the face because I'm actually going to cover it all in fur. So the only bare clay you're going to see after I'm done with it is going to be the eyes. So after I'm happy with the shape of our face, I'm going to pull it off of the foam ball and I'm going to bake this in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for probably about 45 minutes. And while our clay face is baking in the oven, we can work on the wireframe and the clay legs. So for the wireframe, it's a very simple shape. I basically have just one wire here right now. Um, I bent it in half and I kind of created a little upside down Y. So the head is going to attach to the very top of this when we're done, and down here we're going to work on the legs. The first thing we're going to do to build up the clay for the feet is we're going to work on the toenails. Now I don't want anything super sharp or anything because they look kind of dull and kind of chubby, so we're just going to make some rounded little toenails. I'm going to bake this in the oven probably for just 15 to 20 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once it's out of the oven, we can start building up more clay. Now since Porg's feet are webbed, I found the easiest way to do this was to roll out some clay and put your little wireframe on top of it and trace it to get the shape that you want for the webbing. I'm going to take these pieces of clay and we're going to press them onto our wireframe. After that, I made little balls of clay and I put those at the end of the toes, just under the toenail, and I blended them into the rest of the foot. After I was done with the bottoms of the feet, I moved on to building up clay for the legs. So I'm just taking strips of clay and I'm building it up around the wire. Now most of the time you don't see Porg's legs, so if you don't want to do this part, you really don't have to. You could just stop after the feet, but I want to make mine stand up. Once I have all of my wire covered to where I want the legs, I just need to add the details to the tops of the toes and then the front of the legs. To do this, I took a bunch of clay and I made a bunch of little clay balls. And then I just took those clay balls and I placed them where I wanted the scales to be. Once I was done with Porg's feet, I put them in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly about 55 minutes. Once our clay face is out of the oven and is cool to touch, I'm going to take the foam ball that we originally sculpted it on and I'm going to hot glue it onto that foam ball. Now for painting the face, the only part I need to paint is going to be the eyes because that's the only part you're going to see once the fur is on the face. So I'm just going to take some blacks and some browns and I'm going to go over it and start adding some highlights in here and there until I like how it looks.
Moving on to the clay feet, we're going to paint them a nice orange color. Once that's dried, we're going to take some lighter versions, some yellows and some darker browns, and we're going to add the highlights and lowlights to it. And then we'll probably paint the toenails like a black or something. Now with all my clay pieces, I like applying a layer of resin over everything to help protect the paint. Now if you don't want to do this, I would recommend getting a spray-on varnish or sealant. For the eyes, I highly recommend getting a gloss version of this so they're nice and shiny and they look real. Now moving on to the sewing, these are all the different pieces that I cut out to make the body. Right here I have the front and the back of the piece. You'll notice it's basically just an oval and the very top of it is flat so we can connect it to the head later. The sides of the body are just strips of fabric and then these are going to be the wings. So I'm going to start by sewing the wings first and then I'm going to flip them right side out. These I'm not going to stuff but you're welcome to. I just didn't want them to be really puffy. Now for the sides, I'm just going to take our two strips of fabric and I'm going to sew them together. I'm going to take my pen or a marker and I'm going to mark where the legs are going to go and I'm going to make little slits for them. Then I'm going to take our belly piece and I'm going to sew the strips onto the sides. Now I'm going to take the back of the piece and I'm going to sew that on as well, but I'm not going to connect the very bottom part where I had that little flap that we made. So I'm going to flip this right side out and we can start attaching our legs to the body. I'm just going to run the wire up into the body and then we're going to take our hot glue gun and glue the fabric around the base of the legs. After our legs are glued into place, I'm going to take a needle and thread and I'm going to sew up the little flap in the back and then we're going to stuff the body. The last thing we're going to do for the body is we're going to sew the little wings into place. These are not going to be wired or anything, I'm just going to leave them resting. After that, we're going to take the head that's on the foam ball and we're going to take some glue and we're going to glue it onto the very top of the wire that's sticking out of the body. After that's cooled, we're going to hot glue the rest of the fur around the base of the neck. After the head is glued into place, I'm going to start gluing gray fur to the back of the head and then a little bit more on the sides of the face. For his chin, I'm going to glue some more white fur to it. And then he has these little brownish orange markings on the sides of his face. So I'm going to add some more brown fur. I'm going to change the color to it a little bit later, but right now I'm just adding some brown fur to it. Now for the short fur on the face, I'm going to try and do something a little bit simpler instead of making it such a really detailed project. I'm going to take stuffing and I'm going to hot glue it to the front of the face. After I have it roughly placed where I want it, I'm going to take Elmer's glue and I'm going to paint over it, getting it really soaked. That way I can start shaping the fur over the face and getting the right shape for it. Once all that glue has dried and the fur is nice and flat for you to work with, you can start painting it. So I'm going to add all the facial markings to him. Now while doing this, I did get paint on the eyes a few times, so I had to keep wiping them off. But because they're resined, it just comes right off. So don't really worry about that unless you didn't resin them. After I got the fur the color that I wanted it, the only thing I need to do now is to paint in the shadows for the nostrils and the mouth. So just a little black or gray paint right in that little crevice, and there you go. Okay guys, and that's how I made a Porg from the new Star Wars movie. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!